Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to take a look at what we mean by does a sequence converge or diverge? Well, it depends on the structure of the sequence and sometimes also on the constant of the sequence. In this example, we have a constant raised to an exponent where the exponent increases by 1. So in this case, we have c to the n, c to the n, c to the n as n goes from 1 to infinity. And the question is, does that particular sequence converge or diverge? When we say converge means that the limit of it will be a constant number, like zero or a constant, or if it diverges, then the limit of the sequence will go to infinity. So the limit of the sequence c to the n, as n approaches infinity, what will be equal to? Well, we can see that it will be equal to zero if c is a number less than 1. If the number is 0.5, for example, 0.5 raised to the first power, to the second power, to the third power becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. And of course, in the limit, as n goes to infinity, that will become zero. However, if c is larger than 1, then it doesn't converge. The sequence diverges because the number gets bigger and bigger and bigger. The number 2 raised to the first power, to the second power, to the third power gets larger and larger. And eventually, as n goes to infinity, c to the n power will also be infinity. Of course, there's, a, there's some more conditions we need to look at. What if c is between negative 1 and positive 1? Well, even for negative numbers between 0 and negative 1, the sequence will still convert down to 0. It'll have a negative value, but in the end, as n gets larger and larger, the absolute value of it will become smaller and smaller and smaller, and eventually become 0 as well. But if c is greater than 1, or even if c is less than negative 1, it will not converge because then the value will ping-pong back and forth between a positive and negative value, and those negative values and positive values will become larger and larger and larger in magnitude. So what if c is equal to 1? Well, 1 to the first power, 1 to the second power, 1 to the third power, all of those will be equal to 1, so therefore the series converges immediately to 1 and stays at 1. So again, if c equals to 1, we can see that it converges as well. So in the end, we can conclude that c to the n converges for values between negative 1 and positive 1, including positive 1, but it diverges for values when c is smaller than negative 1 or equal to negative 1, and if c is larger than 1. We can come up with lots of examples like that, where some sequences will converge or some sequences will diverge. But the concept is here is what's important. And if you understand that, in the limit, as n goes to infinity, as it goes to a specific number, other than infinity, it converges. If the number becomes infinitely large, then of course it diverges. And that's the difference between converging and diverging sequences.